Praise the Lord. We're here at WLJC, and this is a room where we uh, answer the phones and try to help people get on a way that they need to get on. You know, I believe what will make it work is when people are downstairs singing and the people up here answering the phones. Uh, you know, the Bible said right there in Matthew 9, 37, the field is white to harvest and the labors are few. You know, I thank God for every one of you out there that's supporting WLJC because this is a lighthouse up on a hill. God bless you and keep backing up WLJC in Jesus' name. WLJC welcomes you to have church with us for the next 90 minutes during the hour of harvest. Call in your prayer request or praise report now. The WLJC prayer team is standing by to talk and pray with you. We have some very special musical guests here this evening to share in song the good news of the gospel. So sit back, relax, sing along, and join in with us as we pray for you and the needs of all our viewing audience. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. Live from our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Margaret Drake. Good evening and welcome to our service tonight. We uh, really hope that you can stay with us. We've had a beautiful, beautiful day weather-wise and Hope you were able to enjoy that and now ready to settle down and enjoy going to church. And so we uh, gather each night and we do our best to talk and to sing about the Lord and to share what we know about Him and, uh, and compared to who He really is and how wonderful He is, our knowledge is mighty small. But you can get to know Him and accept Him as your personal Savior and then He'll become everything to you that you need. So we welcome each of you, regardless of where you are tonight or what kind of shape you're in. It doesn't matter. The Lord loves you. He hasn't changed His mind or opinion about you at all. And uh, He is no respecter of person. So regardless of what you think about yourself, the Word is still true, that He loves you and He wants you to be in heaven with Him when this life is over. All right, tonight we want to read a little scripture for those that could not read today. And this is in Second Peter, the third chapter, starting with the eighth verse. You know, there's so much good scripture to share that I have a time some, some nights of trying to choose which, which little few scriptures that I share because I want to read something that, that you can easily remember. Okay, starting with the eighth verse. But, beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to us, were not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought we to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of the Lord, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to His promise, look for a new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Therefore, beloved, seeing that we look for such things, be diligent that you may be found of Him in peace, without spot, and blameless." That is Second Peter 8 through 14, telling us that one day is as a, a thousand, let's see, uh, well, one day with the Lord is as a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day. Well, okay, this kind of helps us to get an idea of, you know, how we were so oriented on this fast microwave stuff, you know. Uh, you see people fix a bowl of uh, oatmeal in the microwave and then turn it on for a minute and a half and then hurry up. Well, why can't it hurry? That's about our mentality anymore. We want everything right now. But, you know, if, if 
this is true with the Lord, which it is, then why we don't get uh, answers to prayer when we want it, then we need to take this into consideration. The Lord is still working. He is still working. We, it's not, it didn't just pop into the microwave. Thank you. And uh, so we have um, to know what the scripture says and abide by it. But it says, he's not willing that any should perish. Now that means all, all the people that's in prisons and the jails and in incarceration, incarceration in any way He's not, he doesn't want you to be lost. He wants you to be saved. He wants you to, like the, the woman that was brought to Jesus, he said, he didn't condemn her, but he said, go and sin no more. And so that's what he would say to any of us today is, you know, he wants us to get our life cleaned and to uh, accept him as our personal savior, but then uh, go and don't do it anymore. And so let's remember when we pray that to leave the timing with the Lord instead of getting impatient and blaming him for not answering prayer, let's just wait and let him answer when, when he knows it's the right time. But then also a cautioning us that we should watch what we say and how we should live because we, uh, the coming of the Lord is going to be, it's going to catch people unaware. Well, we have a number of prayer requests already in, and uh, we're going to, uh, we have a lot of singing coming up, but uh, some of the, I'll mention a few of these before we pray. Diane Palmer needs prayer. Sheila, um, having gallbladder surgery in the morning, and also Robert from Rock Castle, Jerry from Rock Castle. <clears throat> and so we, uh, there's others, and we'll share them a little later. But let's pray and believe the Lord to answer at, in His good time, in His time. And so instead of being patient and, and blaming God for not answering the minute that you ask, many times we, we ask amiss. We, we don't uh, uh, ask because, because it's, it's not according to His will. It's according to our will is what we want many times to do. But we've got to learn to submit and leave, leave our troubles, our good points and our bad points. We've got to bring them all to the Lord and let him, let him take care of us. All right, let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you that you have warned us to be ready, that we do not know when you will come. We do not know uh, when you're going to answer the prayers that have been prayed. And we do thank you, Lord, because we know that you love each of us, you're not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And so regardless of what people have done, Lord, sin is sin, big or little. You want it out of our lives. You want to be, you want the Holy Spirit to be living in our hearts instead of evil. And so tonight, Father, we pray for the salvation of those that need it and for the sick bodies that, uh, that needs a healing. And so we ask you to bless our guests, our phone operators, and Lord, we just want to do our best for you tonight. And then when we've done that, then we'll leave the rest to you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, tonight we have uh, with us, uh, I guess for about the second time, uh, second time, okay, um, the Altro Church of God from Altro, Kentucky. That's in Breathitt. Breathitt County. All right. Their phone number is 606-398-2623. And the pastor is Chris Turner. Is that right? All right. Well, I'm, I give myself a pat on the back. I got through all the numbers and everything. All right. Let's welcome the Alto Church of God.
now someday soon well church i'm leaving well i'm going to a meeting around god's throne well i'm gonna shout my troubles over when i move to my brand new home now when i leave this world behind me now when i Life so cool and clear. 
What's that I hear? What's that I hear? It comes from above. It comes from above. It's the voices of angels just sharing God's love. Just sharing God's love. Just reach out and What's that I hear? What's that I hear? It comes from above. It comes from above. It's the voices of angels just sharing God's WLJC and 
always a privilege to get to do something for the Lord. Amen. We love we love God tonight, and we're here for one purpose, to do our best to try to get some people saved tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you lost and undone, Jesus is standing with outstretched arms. Oh, Lord, to welcome you home tonight. He's willing to save those that are lost tonight. And you know, if you uh, just give him a try, if you don't look like it, the devil will take you back. And we've, uh, we've the outro Church of God singers, like I said, that, that uh, this is the group, and uh, we love to sing for the Lord. Amen. And you know, God's been good to us, and we've, uh, we've, uh, we love him tonight. never been to the place where Jesus was born. I wasn't able to call him in my own. I've never seen him and it don't make much difference, you see. No, I wasn't there. I know Jesus is living in me. For I've got something that makes me know that it's real. I'm born of His Spirit and I know in my heart that He lives. The sacrifice for all me and His blood cleans me from sin. I was Dear Savior, the way on Calvary they nailed him to the cross that day. From the manger to the cross to the lonesome old grave, Jesus died and rose the third day. I was a day, but an old Jesus still lives. For I've got something that makes me know that it's real. I'm born of His Spirit and I know in my heart that He lives. The sacrifice for all men and His blood cleanse me from sin. tonight. Amen. God is still alive and well. Like I said there a minute ago, he is, he's wanting to save somebody tonight. I can feel it in my heart. God is uh, wanting to save some souls tonight. So if you've lost and undone and sitting around and uh, 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 maybe eating something, just lay that down and get down on your knees and give your life to the Lord if you've lost. God will God will take you. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'll tell you, I can't. <laughs> Did I mention that I love him? How I worship and adore him when I can see no way he makes a way. all I want to say. David sang the praises of the glory of Jehovah. Paul
By leaning on his bosom So for a moment May I humbly testify Did I mention that I love him How I worship and adore him They brought the blind to Jesus' side. Touch me now, I pray. So Jesus led him down out of town and touched his eyes that day. He said, I see me. Darkening clouds must fly. It always. 
Savior. Tonight it ain't nothing like him. If you don't know him tonight, be a good night to get saved. Man, I'd love to see you. a bunch get saved tonight. This is what it's all about. People are getting saved and, and you know, uh, giving their hearts to the Lord. Nobody don't want to be lost and undone without God when Jesus comes. I know that. And it's time to get saved. What kind of man? Man, he looked down at a poor little, little wretched boy like me. Hallelujah, was I worthy? No, sir. Amen. But I, by, the Bible says, but by grace are we saved. Amen. Not of works, lest any man should boast today. Amen. Praise the Lord. You know, I'm glad he broke the chains of sin in my life today. And it took Jesus to do it. I couldn't do it on my own. Amen. I couldn't be good enough. Amen. I had to come to Jesus. I had to fall down at an old fashioned altar of prayer. Amen. Somewhere in my life. And you're going to have to do the same thing, friend. Amen. Amen. It's just an honor to be here tonight. And we just come to uplift the name of Jesus. Once I was bound in sin's dark prison. No one around could lift the blind. He broke the chain of sin and sorrow. He broke the
their stories in just a few moments Job lost all he
right, thank you so much. We'll give them a little break. They've uh, been doing a good job singing the Altro Church of God from Altro, Kentucky. Their phone number is 606-398-2623. And Chris Turner is the pastor there. So they'll be back to sing more for us in just a few minutes. But we'll share some of the prayer requests that has come in while we're doing this so you can start praying already. Here from Franklin County, uh, someone named Angel has called for her brother and says he's going into liver failure at uh, UK Hospital right now. So he needs immediate prayer. Uh, uh, Violet, uh, for a brother-in-law, 86 years old from Pike County, said he's, uh, he's in the hospital and really needs prayer in a big way. Sean from Morgan County has... Uh, has some physical needs. And Goldie from Madison County is short of breath, and thank you. And having uh, some uh, problems. Uh, Vicki from uh, Powell is on dialysis, wants prayer. Uh, she had a treatment today, and she also has a wound on her leg. Uh, John and his family need prayer, has, uh, has lung uh, cancer in both lungs. Linda has COPD and can't breathe. Uh, Rick and his family needs prayer. Anthony uh, for, uh, or Lisa has called for Anthony that has cancer. And uh, Lisa for the Stevens family, uh, different needs. And uh, for Marty from Pike County, uh, he has a lot of physical pain and needs help. Uh, this is for Keaton. Uh, is newborn in uh, Madison County, it says, and uh, from from Missouri, the state of Missouri. Um, this uh, young person is 15 years old and has a brain tumor. Sheila from Pike County for Jim that has cancer. This one unknown a request from Fayette County and from Madison County, this family wants love, peace, prosperity, and health. And that's a good request for everyone. And here is uh, another one from Madison County, about the same. From Laurel County, Violet for her uh, family. And Betty from uh, Pike County, her sister, for a, her sister. She has had a fall, she broke her hip, and she needs a good recovery and that they'll be able to take care of her. And you know, that always is a, a big thing there. All right, this one says, uh, from Pulaski County, said, thank God for the singers. Prayer for, uh, uh, prayer online for the operators in uh, WLJC is her church. And uh, that's from Pulaski County. From, uh, I'm not sure the name there, but anyway, that's a good one. And we have we have uh, uh, more more requests. They keep coming in, but now they'll pray for you on up, upstairs also. Now, if you so if you need to if you need to call, well, that'll that'll be fine, and uh, uh, we'll uh, we'll save all these others to share at the end of the service because there's a there's a lot more coming in, and uh, so but you can be praying for for them because they're like the one with kidney failure uh, right now, liver uh, shutting down. She wanted prayer now for that to stop. And so, um, all right, this group is coming back to sing for us. And uh, uh, they, uh, perhaps the pastor or one of the others will tell you where the church is and, and a little about it if they want to. If, you know, you can do that and uh, then... Um, They'll tell you how to get to it if, if you would like to go visit them. And I think it's been there for, the church has been there for a number of years, hasn't it? A long, 50, 50 years. Okay, that's a long time. All right. Uh, we have, uh, uh, we're just the Alto Church of God from Alto, Kentucky. And so we'll go right back now. I'm sure they have a lot of good songs. They probably... They're up there where it's out in the country, and they probably sing till midnight sometimes. <laughs> and so let's just go back and hear some more of those good songs. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible says, without the 
spirit of the Lord run out of his tonight. And if you got that spirit, sometimes you just can't help it. Amen. We're just honored to be here tonight. And we located uh, down in the south part of Breathy County and uh, close to Buckhorn Lake and on Highway 1110. And we have church on Wednesday nights and Saturday nights. And uh, we just happen to be tomorrow night getting ready to go into a revival. We'll be going through uh, um, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday and Saturday, all being in the Lord's will. And uh, invite everybody out to come and be with us. If you don't know Jesus Christ, you need to get to know him tonight. Jesus came down from heaven above, left his home in glory on high. Oh, he came to this world, the will of the Father, by love was found to die. And oh, Mansion for me. There's a mansion for me. There's a mansion for me. 
I thank God for being saved. I thank him for everything he does for me. I just thank him for his mercy, and I thank him for his grace. I'm nothing without him. I could never be nothing without him. But I thank God where he's brought me from and where he's taken me. Glory, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This next song is, says, I will trust in you. Lord, if it wasn't for the Lord that we could trust in, who could we trust in tonight? We're nothing without him. I put my all in all in Jesus Christ. I trust in him tonight. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Letting go of every single dream. I lay each one down. Every moment of my wandering never changes what you see. I try to win this war, I confess. My hands are weary, Lord, I need your rest. Mighty warrior. Part the 
You are my steady hand. You are my firm foundation. The rock on which that I stand. Your ways are always higher. Your plans are always good. There's not a place where I'll stand. You've not already stood. When you don't move that mountain, then I'm needing you to move. When you don't part the water, then I wish I could walk through. When you don't give the answers as I cry out to you, I will trust, I will trust, I will trust in you. I said I would that none should perish but all come to repentance tonight amen he wants to save tonight and praise the Lord man I love him with all my heart tonight and I appreciate the, this station tonight for having us over here and brother Chris mentioned the revival a while ago and, and uh, Wednesday night be, we're going to have Gary Riley with us preaching uh, Thursday night will be Henry Lloyd Deaton will be with us preaching. And Friday and Saturday night will be Bobby Mullins from Clay County. And Bobby Stevens from Clay County. And boy, they good, I'll tell you. They can, they can show and make you uh, hair stand up on your head. <laughs> Those saying goes. When I came into this world I just can't recall I don't remember anything About my birth at all But one night On my knees in prayer I never will forget I had a birth I can't remember One I can't forget but to the world it makes no difference Some people frown But the angels rejoiced that day When the name was written down I'm unworthy of His mercy But still He paid my debt I had a birth I can't remember what I can't forget Well, I never made the papers Never made the evening news When I took off the old man I put on the new My sins were cast into forgetfulness For the east is from the west had a birth I can't remember One I can't forget But to the world it makes no difference Some people frown But the angels rejoice that day When my name was written down I'm unworthy of His mercy I still He paid my debt I had a birth I can't remember One I can't forgive Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. I just want to thank God for a Another day, I want to thank God for another opportunity to be out here tonight. You know, it's nothing about us. It's all about Him, Brother Chris. We're here to lift up the name of Jesus and to see souls saved. You know, that's what it's all about. I just say, Lord, just hide me behind the cross.
because I want to be in the, about the Father's business. But, you know, we're so blessed. We're blessed that he woke us up this morning, Brother Chris. We're blessed if we'll be able to walk, Sister Margaret. We're so blessed. And we take that for granted because there's so many people that don't have that opportunity just to be able to even walk. But I thank God for everything it means to me. I thank God for his sweet anointings. And I just thank God most of all for being saved. moves among us all that he does all of his mercy and all of his love a pen of a writer could write every day even this world could never contain how I have been blessed warmth in the winter and flowers in of summer, a changing of leaves, food on my table, a good place to sleep, clothes on my back, and shoes on my feet, I have been blessed, I have been blessed, God so good to me, precious are his thoughts. I wasn't able to come back in uh, New Year's Eve. I had a massive brain tumor removed. You know, God brought me to it, and he brought me through it. And I'm standing here. I'm a walking, talking miracle. Because, you know, they thought I'd have trouble with my speech, and the church can tell you I love to talk. They had to shut me up to even take care of me down there. So I'm a blessed person, and I thank God for that. I thank, thank him for everything he's done in my life and everything he's going to do in my life. You all pray for me.
for many long years I've traveled this road I'm weary and tired of carrying this load so often I'm tempted by Satan Two colts were before me, an old and a new, and I could have either, so what must I do? Oh, one colt was ugly, 
and terribly torn. The other a new one had never been worn. Oh, I'll tell you the best thing I can earn it A, that's a good song to close with. The Altro Church of God from Altro, Kentucky, and their phone number is 606-398-2623. If you'd like to call them about their church services or about uh, uh, the revival or whatever, if uh, if uh, the pastor and uh, um, would uh, if they'd like to come up and help with a prayer request, that would be. That would be good if they want to do that. Um, it's not a requirement, but I usually try to lass all some help when we can find them. All right, we have a lot of requests in here tonight. Here's a, uh, it says a boy friend has called for his girlfriend and he has fourth stage of cancer and he wanted to hear the song go rest high on the mountain. All right, here's uh, from Breathitt County. Bonetta and her family said <coughs> the singers are doing a great job. Vaughn from Pike County, the Lord delivered her from the hospital. She's on the ventilator and she thanks everyone from WLJC that prayed for her. Cheryl from Morgan County, Jean from Pulaski, Sharon is a diabetic and COPD, wow. Eugene from uh, Rockcastle, 53 years old and a lot of pain, Norma from Whitley County for herself. Anita from Madison prayer for um, several, Mrs. Sweeney, uh, elderly lady, and Dorothy from Lynch, Kentucky for a niece that is on dialysis, very sick, and also for her son, 
that needs a job, a great uh, a grandbaby need, is real sick from Wayne County for the whole family. Uh, Peggy for Susie, uh, Sudi, uh, for, got a broken jaw. And here's uh, Thelma from Fayette County for a son that has lung cancer and has never smoked. He'd probably breathe somebody else's. He wants, they want prayer. Juanita from Breathitt County wanted Jamie McIntosh to sing a song in memory of Daly Smith. Uh, Goldie and Leroy from Fayette County wanted to hear I'm, I'm a winner either way. Uh, Cheryl from uh, uh, Campton wanted prayer for uh, a Wilma that uh, is a good friend and she's in the Jackson Hospital. We have a lot of a lot of requests in here tonight. I've been reading over them, but I don't think we're going to be able to get them all in. And so uh, I'd like for you you men to tell a little, little about your church and what you'd like for the people to know about it. You want to start, Pastor? Well, it's just an opera. We count it as a privilege and an opportunity just to be able to come out and uplift the name of Jesus Christ. And, you know, uh, I believe going to church is an important part of uh, being a Christian. Mm -hmm. But if you're not able to go to church, this is a, this is a wonderful thing for a lot of people. It's like a lot of people, the shut-ins, maybe you just can't get out. But if you can, let me encourage you. Get out and go to your church. Your pastor, including me, want to see you at church. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're having revival Wednesday night. I'd like to see everybody come out to be with us. Brother Gary Raleigh, bless you, starting Wednesday night. And just coming out looking for souls to be saved and for us Christians to be lifted up. You know, he said, if I be lifted up, that he will draw all manner of men unto me tonight. And that's what we're looking for. Amen. You know, in this country that we're living in, where evil seems to be on every hand. Amen. We need, we need Jesus. Yes. Amen. We need the presence of the Lord being with us every step of the way. Yes. Yes, Praise that's true. Lord. Would you like to say something? Well, uh, I'm glad to be here tonight and, and glad to be saved and on my way to heaven. About 30 years ago, Jesus saved me, and I ain't never been the same since. And I love the Lord tonight, and love Brother Don and Sister Margaret here, and you know, it's just a great privilege to get to come over and do something for the Lord. We proud that you all invite us over, and we thank you for that. All right, uh, thank you. Was that Henry Lord was going to be there Thursday? Henry, Brother Thursday Henry, night. Brother Henry Lord Dayton will be there Thursday night. If you ain't never okay. heard him, you could sure get a good blessing from mm -hmm. him. Brother Bobby Stevens, amen, he'll be there Friday night and Saturday night, and you'll get a good blessing from them. And, of course, Brother Gary Riley tomorrow night. Amen. And just come on, come and we'll make you welcome, and just come and obey the presence of the Lord. Okay, you better tell them that route to get on. Uh, we happened to be driving through there not long ago, and there was a big uh, pole that had broken down, was almost over the ro road. Yeah, and I so I hope they moved that, did they? Yeah. <laughs> Have, okay. Well, uh, okay, what, uh, what uh, is the location of the church? We live about 25 miles from, uh, we live about 25 miles from uh, Jackson, on, Jackson on Highway 1110. It's close to Buckhorn. If you, we're about on the Prairie Breath at County line, and uh, amen, if you live close to there, we invite you to come and be with us and just have a good time in the Lord. That's, that's, that's what it's all about. It, it's just getting to know who Jesus is and lifting one another up tonight. Yes. Amen. Well, there ain't no big eyes. Where I go to church, there ain't no big eyes and there ain't no little yous except for Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Amen. We yes. just love the Lord and appreciate an opportunity. Well, if you come down 15, uh, You'll get off there at Haddock's. It's, it, that's 1110 there. When you turn off there at Haddock's, and it brings you straight to the church, you can see a sign. It says, The Altar Old Church of God. Okay, all right. And if they have a GPS and can get it working, well, they can find you, can't they? Yeah. All right. Well, we've had more calls come in, but uh, I'm going to ask you. Uh, Pastor, if you take that oil there and and anoint these, and and you two men uh, pray over them, and we'll we'll all agree and yeah, yeah praise the Lord and agree that the praise needs Jesus. will be met. Each one's different that called in tonight. Oh, See, some's so cancer, some 
I have other problems. But that was a wonderful testimony from the lady singing a while ago, how the Lord brought her through. Amen. Yeah, amen. And that is, that's great. And He can do anything, Miss Moore. He can. He can. Okay, you all go. Amen. Lord, Heavenly Father, tonight, God, we call upon you today, dear Lord, to look upon all these needs here today, God. Dear Lord, we know each and every soul, Heavenly Father, dear God, what we need, oh God. Dear Lord, we uplift you and we praise you, Jesus Christ. Dear Lord, all of the sicknesses, dear Lord, amen. Praise God, all of the lost souls. Dear Lord, it's here and here tonight, oh God. We just pray, dear Lord, that you just be with us, dear Lord. Just bless all of your churches, dear Lord, all of your pastors. Dear Lord, all the needs, dear God. I know, dear Lord, you're a big God and you're able to do anything praise tonight. We uplift you, God, and we praise you in the name of our in Savior, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Name. Amen. Touch in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Altro Church of God, Altro, Kentucky. And they can get in touch with you at 606 398 2623. Yeah. Amen. So if they want more information or if they get out and get lost to trying to get to your church, they could call that number. Is that right? Yeah. Absolutely. Amen. All right. We've we've been known to get uh, get lost on some of these roads, so uh, that's why I always joke Not about it. Because you. oh yeah, <laughs> just me. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Joyce and Richard Hampton jokes about that I was able to find my way to their church, but then I got lost to coming back and like never found my way home. So. But anyway, I'm not that good on directions. But, but anyway, uh, here, remember their revival and go in if you can because, mm -hmm. you know, you think, oh, I don't, I have things are going good. I might not need the Lord too much right now. But just like the lady that gave her testimony, there's things happen like strokes and, and tumors and so forth like she said. It can happen and then you realize all of a sudden how much you need the Lord, and if you haven't built a, a good relationship with Him before then, you're kind of like a stranger. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And so that's why we need to know the Lord. All right. Uh, well, we, we've about come to the end of our service, and so we want to thank everybody for that has called in and the singers for being here. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you pray for them. Go visit with them if you can. and and uh, so we uh, from uh, all of us here in the studio we want to say a good night and god bless you thank you for being a part of the hour of harvest we hope you get a blessing every time you watch this program is available for download on your computer or mobile device at www.wljc.com wljc is now available on roku and google tv DVD copies of this program are also available for your contribution of $15 or more. The WLJC programs, including the Hour of Harvest, are brought to you through your contributions of support. All contributions made to WLJC are eligible for income tax deduction. Thanks to all who support us. Without you, our programming would not be possible. If you would like to join our mailing list to receive our free monthly newsletter to keep you informed about what is happening at WLJC, along with our monthly musical guest schedule, call 606-464-3600 or write to WLJC, P.O. Box Y, Beattyville, Kentucky, 41311. Want to hear from us faster? Join our email mailing list. You can sign up at WLJC.com. It's easy and it's free. May God bless you.